Hey folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. It's 2.34 p.m. on March 4th, 2024 in West End, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 5 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 2 kilometers starting at English Bay Beach, then stroll southeast on Pendrel, southwest on Thurlow, southeast on Davie, ending my trek downtown by the transit bus stop of Burrard and Davie. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforswood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsted here, over along the seawall path here at English Bay Beach. And it is Monday afternoon, around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's English Bay for you. As well as the beach. Let's keep walking along the seawall path there. Over here is a beach half, we'll cross beach half. And head up through Morton Park. Here's the laughing man. Local Vancouver landmark. Definitely something to check out if you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, it looks like we can cross Demon Street right now. And technically in what is called the Demon Village. And it looks like there's even a crew willing to sit out over at the Shamrock on the patio. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's around four degrees today outside. Mm, might be a degree warmer. Let's check. Yeah, it's around five degrees now. So it might go up one more degree before uh, the uh, day starts to get dark. Oh wait, we'll see. And here's my destination, Pendrel Street. So I don't think I've done this street yet. So let's head on up Pendrel Street and see what this street's all about. This will be primarily a residential street. But I did hear that interesting things like right here on the gym. It's this nice little piece of artwork. Very cool, eh? Hey? 
over here at the West Bank Living Building. I'm going to keep walking here. Looks like they got an air pump outside of that building. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to keep walking on Pendril here. Passing Rosewood, which is the local apartment building. Rosewood's on Pendle Street. <laughs> and we'll cross Cardero. This is Brimley. This is Brimley. Or uh, Bidwell, sorry. <laughs> so we'll cross Bidwell. Oh man. Brimley is the street all the way over in Toronto. <laughs> Hometown is just coming out. Just needs to come out. <laughs> There's tall buildings around here. Local school is across the street. Don't remember the name of the school. And eh, it's not really important for this channel. <laughs> so I'll just keep heading up this side of uh, Pendrel Street. Here's Cardell Street. And we'll cross Cardell. We're headed down this way one block. You hit the Safeway in the 24 hour McDonald's. Right at the corner of Cardero and Davy. And we're one block off from the Davy Village. So this area is teeming with people who love the free Kundai village. <laughs> oh, that village is a rather pleasant to visit all year round for anyone who's in the area whether you live here <laughs> or you're visiting. And here in Vancouver, of course, we'll kindly take your money and in exchange for giving you a good time. <laughs> Definitely will want to show you a good time. Oh, keep walking on Pendle Street here. Um. These types of streets I have overlooked lately. So I'm making more of a concerted effort to check out these streets in the downtown. You know, people do enjoy seeing it. And they also keep their eye out for things like rental signs and stuff like that. A couple days ago, I just did an unnarrated video for Barclay Street. You can check that in the back catalog. It'll definitely be out before this video comes out. And there's like eight different buildings 
I mean, it's just vacancies. Which is, some people would say strange for Vancouver, but seems like a, a new trend over here. Now, of course, like I've said in the channel before, we've had friends that not only chose to leave Vancouver and move out, <laughs> but uh, not only moved out of the provinces, but moved out of the country, <laughs> back to their home country. We miss them, but... Uh, and they say it was for the best. And we try to stay in contact. But when you're at that distance, you just do your best with occasional messages and maybe a chat on the phone. That's nothing the same as having your friends in the neighborhood. Looks like uh, this building over here is for uh, lease too. There's spaces for lease in there right now. Wow. Across Pen Pendrel Street here. We're walking on Pendrel, we're crossing Brialton. Oh goodness gracious. I can already see it across the street. There's a place open. One bedroom open over here. That's two in such a short distance. Wow. And check this side out over here. Over at Clarington House right here. There's a one bedroom opening up on April 1st. So yeah, a lot of people moving right now. So if you're looking to settle here in Vancouver, particularly in the West End, which is part of a larger downtown area, this would definitely be the time to come. Lots of openings. That kind of contrasts the news right now. We'll hear on the news that there's not a lot of rentals available because people have been selling their homes and moving out of their homes because they can no longer afford them. And they're moving into rentals. So here in Vancouver, different story, definitely on the ground. <laughs> definitely on the ground. They don't keep walking here. Looks like they're doing some maintenance over this building. Either that, they're gonna tear it down. Didn't see a sign though. Usually they'll put up a sign up there. Got to change a building. Big old sign. Gives you a picture of what the building's gonna look like. And the number. To contact if you want to contact whoever's responsible for the building that's going to get built how many stories are on the building all that type of stuff and if you watch any of my other videos you'll see that in some of the videos I'll stop and actually look at those signs and show them on screen and you can of course freeze it zoom in take your own look it's probably done easier on a laptop <laughs> and on a TV, but hey, <laughs> whatever. This is still Pendrel. And over here, this is Butte Street. And we're going to continue down Pendrel. It's that time of year where 
the weather gets warmer and the birds get louder. <laughs> Even another month and the crows will get a overly aggressive because <laughs> they're protecting their newborns, so there's good reason. <laughs> I'll be starting to think about making nests right now. Won't quite be there yet. Come another week or two. They're master builders with their nests anyway, so they know what to do. We'll keep walking here on Pendrel Street. Is that St. Paul's Hospital in front of us here? Looks like St. Paul's. I guess we'll find out. It's Jerome, right? <laughs> Is it St. Paul's? There's a lot of single family dwelling homes in here. It looks like some of them are cooperative housing and some of them are people's own homes and some of them are broken down of the apartment buildings. Interesting. Very, very interesting. See even this little walkway over here. Goes to the next street. Cool. There, over there across the street, this building is going to be torn down. They're going to build a nice big tower over here. You can see that. That's what it's called. It's called a development application. It's this building right here. It's going to get torn down. Looks like it's starting to empty out. And that can be problematic because it displaces people. And they have to find housing for themselves somewhere else. Sometimes that they uh, moved into the building when they got a really good deal, well, <laughs> their deal, even though prices probably increased over time, is probably sweeter <laughs> than anything they uh, paid previously or they're gonna pay in the future, so <laughs> somewhere else, so yeah. Oh, this is St. Paul's Hospital, very, very cool. So this is the hospital right here. And this is Thurlow Street, and this is where Pendrill ends. Very, very cool. <laughs> I'll head on over to uh, Butte Street. All right, we'll head down Thurlow and over to Davie Street. Passing the Central Presbyterian Church. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, Nelly. I've definitely walked this part of Thurlow a few times in the video. I still got a few more other streets to walk around in the West End and explore. So just keep an eye out for those. They'll be coming out as we go along. That's because people have expressed interest in seeing all those different streets, including houses. And they actually get good views over here. In Toronto, you go down a street with houses, no one wants to watch that. Over here, different. <laughs> so, very cool. Very, very cool. Across the street. Now we're over in the Davy Village right now. Just passing by Denny's. Ah, oh, there's number six right now for you, eh? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Uh, head down to the two. Just, just down the street here. A little further. And this area would be your queer village. And I use that term because Google's algorithm doesn't really like some other terms. <laughs> Seems to get less advertising dollars if you 
use a something that starts uh, you spelt it backwards with a Y A G. <laughs> You wouldn't expect that in the society, but the irony is in progressive society sometimes it feels <laughs> a bit like an oxymoron. Yeah, well, at least queer is more inclusive anyways bit of a catch-all for everyone in the community so hopefully that word uh, <laughs> works out <laughs> I'm keep walking in and over here is the stop for the number two bus this will take us into Kitsilano and across the Burrard Street Bridge and this is Burrard Street right here so It'll take you all the way down to South Vancouver and over to the Dunbar Loop and the Dunbar Village. Now we're south side of Dunbar Village. So, thanks for coming along today. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Have a good day.